certain things for yourself. Hmm? Certain things. One, you are given health and then how you maintain it is you eat well, you exercise and you remain healthy. Now, to be loving when maybe in a household, any situation, maybe outside forces are not pleasant, it doesn't come easily to then just be loving. So what should you do to... I mean, what is the practice to become that way or to train yourself to be that way? You believe you need to practice. Practice means you're trying to perfect, a, perfect an action, isn't it? To be loving at all times? Yes, yes, that is not an act. No, not an act. No, I, but don't, to want to be go, so I, I don't want to go back to the movies, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, to be so accepting because… No, it's not about accepting. Right now, do you want to keep your mind, your thought process, pleasant or nasty? Tell me, what is your choice? Ideally pleasant. No, just tell me, pleasant or nasty? You're thinking about it, this is… No, I'm trying to think, should I fox you and say nasty <laughs> <laughs> Say it <laughs> Okay, nasty <laughs> I'm going to bless you now <laughs> No, no, no <laughs> Okay, I take back my words <laughs> Okay <laughs> All right, Any so human being's choice <laughs> for themselves is definitely pleasantness, yes. isn't it? Mm. Body, mind, emotion, everything and surroundings, you want it pleasant. Yes. So why is it not pleasant? Surroundings are not pleasant because of many things. Yes. If your thought and emotion are not pleasant, it's entirely you, isn't it? Yes. Surroundings, not entirely me, it's so many forces. We have to manage them, we have to juggle them. Not always are we successful with everything around us. Di you know, different people have different levels of competence to manage the outside. Not all of us have the same, uh, what to say, the skill to manage the outside. But inside, your emotion and your thought, why is it not happening your way? This is something we have to look at. This has to be addressed, every human being has to address this. At least your thought and your emotion must happen the way you want, it's like this. Uh, on a certain day, a lady went to sleep. In her sleep, she had a dream. In her dream, she saw a hunk of a man standing in that corner. And then he started coming closer and closer and closer. He came so close she could even feel his breath. She trembled, not in fear. <laughs> and then she asked, what will you do to me? The man said, well, lady, it's your dream <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm saying, What's happening in your mind is your bloody dream. Now the problem with life is that not that life is not happening the way you want it, even your dream is not happening the way you want it, that's a problem. <laughs> I'm saying at least fix this, at least let the dream happen the way you want it. If you are dreaming the way you want right now, your thought and your emotion would be pleasant, isn't it? Fixing the world is another thing, that's a different game. That needs lot of skill. This needs just willingness. Yes. Why we are continuously talking about joy, blissfulness, love is not because it's a goal by itself. These are not goals by itself. Only by… when you are pleasant by your own nature, you stop being in pursuit of happiness. You are fine by yourself. You don't have to go anywhere to feel pleasant. You don't have to do anything to feel pleasant. Sitting here, you are feeling very pleasant. Now you will look at life the way it is. Otherwise, you're an endless race. Pursuit of your happiness is a lifelong thing till your deathbed you're pursuing. What does it mean? That means you're a failure. If you're pursuing happiness when you were five, I can understand. But that was not the fact. When you're five, you're simply happy by your own nature. When you're fifty, you're pursuing your happiness. This is a failed story, isn't it? <laughs>